we are very excited to be out in front of our Career Technical Education Center today. And um, we're conducting a ribbon cutting for a facility that we've been working on for just under a year. Um, as everybody knows, career and technical education is a very, very important aspect of um, all it is that we want to be doing in our school district to prepare students, not only for life after high school and college, but also in careers and in technical careers if they so choose to go down that path. Um, and again, we're really excited. We'd like to uh, recognize some people that are with us today. Um, our trustees, I have Laura Hill. Uh, she's here, and then Paul Hackey sitting back there behind the students. Um, we also have some partners with us, our Idaho National Lab Partnership. Uh, people are here with us. We've got uh, a representative uh, from our, uh, our College of Eastern Idaho, Rick's with us, and um, I think we even got a couple of superintendents from other school districts, uh, Shelly and Sugar Sailor, are here this, uh, this morning. Um, we have um, our contractors who helped uh, put this together at Bateman Hall. Many thanks to them um, and a bunch of others. And then, of course, the most important people are behind us. Uh, these are our students that are participating, a few of them in the program. Um, before we cut the ribbon, um, we'll do some tours of this facility. We want to invite uh, everybody who's interested to come in and take a look at uh, what, the, what the inside now looks like, as well as um, students are being taught right now. Uh, so we want you to be able to see how those, those play out and, and how it is in the look. So I'm not going to give a great big speech other than to say that career technical education is very, very important uh, for pre preparing students for their lives after high school. They can gain skills right here. Um, they can gain those skills as well as connect uh, with business and industry partners and have an apprenticeship. Um, they can understand what it's like to go on in life with these types of skills. And then sometimes we forget to, to, to mention that maybe perhaps in high school you're not quite sure what you might want to do. You might have an interest and say, you know, I'll go, I'll go give welding a try. And then you try it for a while and then you find out you don't like it. Well, that's a better time to do it in high school than it is when you're 26 down the road. Uh, so those are important types of decisions that kids make uh, every day, and it needs to be a, a piece of what it is that we offer um, and make sure that they have those great opportunities. So without further ado, I want to invite those who are involved uh, to come on up and get on one of these scissors. So, um, yeah, let's get the kids up here. <laughs> Okay, um, I sure do appreciate the press that they're here. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask uh, while we're here? We can just do that inside. We have uh, our coordinator, Fred Fox, talk about uh, our internship. Well, as Dr. Shank said, we have uh, many of our students. Part of our goal is to, is to get our students involved in internships or apprenticeships. And this uh, Friday, actually, we sky signed Skylar Tolman, if you'll come up here, Skylar, as well as Melvin Cromwell from Intermec. Um, Skylar will be doing an apprenticeship program. He's our second STRAP student to get signed uh, this past year. We did one in June with Kale Bolander, and then Skylar's going to be working with, with Melvin at Intermec. Um, getting his apprenticeship. It's a great wage. It's um, a great um, time for them to teach Skylar many things in which he can move on and be a registered apprenticeship apprentice when he finishes the program. So we're super excited about that and want to thank you very much, Melvin, for uh, signing Skylar. We're really excited about that. Thank you. Thank you. 